now we're going to talk a bit about the UI on Windows Phone Mango 7.5 on the Lumia 800. Um, as you can see, when the screen is locked, you can't tell if the phone is on at all, at all. The capacitive buttons at the bottom don't work, volume buttons have no effect, and the camera button only unlocks the phone if you keep it pressed for more than three seconds around, it'll open the camera directly. Now, lock the phone again. You can't tell at all. If you press the unlock button, which is the middle button, you get the unlock screen, which will show you your upcoming events down here, notifications, which right now I have one email. And up in the top, you can see your battery level, whether Wi Fi is connected or not, and your reception. In this case, I have no SIM in it. Now, to unlock, just simply swipe up upwards, and it'll unlock the screen, giving you your home screen, which is called Metro UI in this. Now, Metro UI is basically consists of live tiles, which are, instead of widgets on other phones, they're updating, which is the new difference in Windows Phone Mango. They're more interactive. They update, like, as you can see right now, I have my Google Mail tile is informing that I have one email. And your messaging tile will also inform you. You have the people tile is constantly changing, showing you different random contacts. And you, and here you have the, fo the photo tile will show you random pictures or favorite pictures in your photo album. You have the calendar tile, which shows you your upcoming events. And you can add any tile you want as a shortcut, or you can add contacts as shortcuts. We'll get to that in a bit. Right now you can organize tiles by just long pressing on it, and you can drag a tile anywhere you want down between them, and it will make its own space automatically. Now, just fix this, put it back and the gap will be filled immediately. Now we have swipe to the right or click the arrow button and you'll enter the menu where apps are arranged alphabetically. The all games are up here grouped under the Xbox Lite game tile. So in the main menu, you'll only see your default apps as well as any apps you install from the marketplace. But menu all games are inside the Xbox Live tile. Now you have the app option of adding a tile or application shortcut onto the Metro UI home screen, just select pin to start. Now it's found there. And you can of course click press the unpin button to remove it. Now if we go you can also do the same with contacts. You just select any contact and also pin to start. And it'll once again appear on the home screen. And you can remove it of course. Now one of the main new features or the main customized feature, special feature, unique feature to Windows Phone Mango is the implication of something called People Hub instead of contacts. It's an, the point of making Windows Phone more social is that you have people instead of contacts, which is a generic term. Now inside your People Hub, as you've seen in the first video, is all your accounts are linked together from Facebook to Gmail to Windows Live are all linked under the same person and you can find the history of all you can find the history of your conversations with a single contact. It'll download what they're what under what's new. You can find their latest info from their Twitter and Facebook accounts. And under pictures for the each, each person in the people hub, you can find the latest pictures from the contact history on in their Facebook, which latest pictures they uploaded. Under history, you can find your latest contact history between them, be it over Facebook messages or Gmail or contacting them by phone. So in People Hub, you can find many things. In People Hub itself, you have What's New. What's New gives you updates, brings you updates from Facebook, Twitter, and Google, and everything else, one in place. And you go, you have Recent Contacts, which is the latest people's profile hubs, which you access, and to, bring, to make it easier to access people. Now, um, that's about it for People's Hub. You can, as we mentioned, pin someone to the Start menu. One of the things about Windows Phone is that it's mainly set in portrait mode. Like your home screen does not support landscape mode, neither does your app uh, list. Some uh, some features support home uh, landscape mode, but um, mostly third-party apps and games. Like photos, of course, support. So one of the um, Windows Phone Seven is Seven Point Five is basically built in a portrait orientation, with landscape orientation coming in second. But that does not mean that the landscape keyboard is at all any any worse. Let's just take a look at how the landscape keyboard looks. It's still quite roomy, although I wish that they had utilized the space more, meaning it's, it's considering it's only taken up by the time and date. And so they might have extended the keyboard a bit to make it a bit more usable. 
Um, that's about it for the UI. We'll get to the rest of the features later. Thank you.